This is the Mars Hydro, Hydro Line 12. The actual wattage is 23 watts. Minimum setting puts the light about 11.25 inches above the deck. The PPFD at the deck where you're starting seeds is around 152 PPFD. PPFD increases to about 304. 12 plant sites. Each of these are similar to an arrow garden. However, they are not the same size as an arrow garden. The grow bowl is uh, six liters, which is substantial, and it has the indicator on the right-hand side with a little see-through window. They do suggest that you set it on level five, five liters for seed starting. The window is a little dark. It has front-facing controls, power, time, vegetative, or flowering. The vegetative light has a little bit more wattage than what the warmer flower and fruiting light choice has. The grow bowl itself has an internal pump that has two uh, different outlets that come from the pump to help to circulate the water around inside. It does not have an air pump. They did not supply any hydroponic nutrient. Crops tested were radishes, lettuce, and Michaeldorf tomatoes. This particular tomato plant, it's growing, but it's not growing as well as perhaps I had hoped. If the plant were to grow a little bit higher, it would get into a more typical uh, growth state. But getting from the deck to that area with a smaller Michaeldorf style uh, tomato plant is going to be a slow start. The light was not sufficient enough to grow radishes. However, lettuce plants that I started in a different unit and moved into the Mars Hydro unit when they were about five inches in height did extremely well. If you were to start with a little bit larger plant versus a seed, it would be uh, more helpful in terms of growing into consider normal expectations. So this has been my opinion on the Mars Hydroline 12.